first yo. <laughs> we got some fur. Finally, on this trap that I had a pullout on and I just was complaining about. So, first yo on the south piece in this trap. Usually when I'm trapping, I carry my headphones, because my headphones, my ear muffs, because it's, you know, a loud thing to try to cancel out, you know, bird shot, whatever, hunting deer, whatever. But, you know, coyote, they're standing there in front of you in a trap. You can try to protect your ears, and I couldn't find them, so. I got a little ringy ear right now, but. Number two, it's always when, you know, I sit in the morning for deer and then I come and find them. I, this is like right off the side of the Golden Road that we have property. So like my truck is parked on the Golden Road and I have to like get up and through. But number two, this guy's been checking this strap out. I think I have footage of his paw print where it was. So, uh. He uh, left some presents down here and over there a couple days ago just checking it out and he finally committed. This is um, my first one on these new traps, so... He's a little bigger. Oh yeah. Number two. Oh, of course. Can't not get blood on me. So, trapping's been a little slow. My rooster just showed up. Um, I did decide to put another trap where we have a dump pile. It has like old wood and like nails and stuff in it so we dump it out back so people don't like step on it or whatnot. And we saw a lot of coyote tracks going through there and we have chickens over here in the corner. So we set a trap out there and ended up getting this guy. Hey, bye bye. October 30th. Hey. Oh, look at the white you got on you. Yeah. For some reason, when I saw this guy in the trap, he was way too cute for me. He was like flapping around and like acting like a cat. He had like 
laid on his back and stuff and it was adorable. When I see coyotes in traps, I don't get that like puppy dog feeling and I've seen what they do to deer and with the fisher, I've never had an issue with one. If anything, they get into our bear bait. So like there's not really an issue I've ever had with one. And so when I saw them, I like didn't, I just didn't have the heart to take him. So while I was looking at him in the trap, I noticed that his leg kind of looked a little gank from the trap because you usually trap Fisher with the Connie Bears, so it's like a kill trap, put their head in it, it slams shut. This was a coyote set, so he was caught in a foothold, and this foothold trap isn't made to trap Fishers, it's made to trap coyotes. So when a coyote gets trapped in a foothold, you know, it's usually holding their paw. When a Fisher gets trapped, it's holding like up into his wrist. So when I was looking at it, the vet tech in me was like, if we let him go, I don't know how that's gonna heal, if it's broken, if he's gonna limp off, if something bad's gonna happen. And so I thought for the best, we should take him. I just didn't have the heart to do it. So I looked at Keenan and was like, do you want him? And Keenan was like, yeah, I'll take him. So Keenan took him, we will get him tanned and put up in our home. But I realized today, as new as I am to trapping, that I'm not meant to trap everything. I just want to take care of, like, a bigger issue, so that's why I trap specific to coyote. I don't mind when other people trap other things. I mean, it, conservation still needs to happen. These animals still need to be taken. We can't have an overabundance of them, but I just, my heart wouldn't let me, so. Keenan got him. That is that. I just wanted to explain that a little bit. Didn't get a lot of footage on it when it did happen because we had other things going on. So. See, the funny thing about these guys is they, uh, they will come after you. Oh yeah, no, they are very vicious. Like the coyotes back away and he's like, Hi. Come here. I'm filming you. I want you to see this. Is there a Yodi? No, but I want you Because I have a pull out up here, so I know that I have one trap that I need to reset. Wow, really? It's too heavy to pick up. You've got to drag it. Getting ready for deer season. Take your jacket off. This is being a dumb bitch. would have died by now, right? Yodi? Inhaled the exhaust. Oh yeah. You'd be dead by now. You'd be all, you're alright. Hilarious. Cameraman. Okay, you're making me dizzy? 